The name of the organization, Game Over, and its CEO, Eric Hicks, has been teaching kids core values through their love of basketball, but also making sure those kids are prepared for the future, whether it's on the court or off the court. Eric Hicks is with us this morning with a few of the great kids from the program and from Game Over, including a piano prodigy, Mason Tyler Goddard. Nice to have you here, Mason. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the piano. You're going to hear him play. Eric, nice to have you Thank here. Thank you for having us. And Thank that's Hampton and Jada, right? Hampton and Jada. Nice yes. to see you, too. Tell us about Game Over. Okay, so the name Game Over came about. We like to address what athletes do when the game is over and being prepared when the game is over. We really believe the thought process and everything that goes into being a great athlete, if applied and taught to kids at a young age, they can apply it to everything. It's true. My husband says sports is not just about sports. It's about teamwork, working together, skill building, and basically learning how to have one another's back, and that means in everything. Well, you know, it's very important that the adults understand that because basketball is a beautiful sport that has been given to us and when these kids they're so talented and so athletic when they play it it's a beautiful thing to watch but to have it end at a certain age and not be able to take those same things and apply it to everything mm. uh, we talk about the philosophy of applying it to medicine and our kids the way that they approach and attack things and the way that they're able to make decisions on the fly you know when you talk about uh, the NBA teams when they get in the playoffs they say it's a game of adjustments well life is a game of adjustments and anything that you get into is a game of adjustments or being able to morph into the certain things that you have to do in order to survive and in order to be successful. So true. All right, let me talk to some of these cute kids. Mason, why do you like Game Over? Because it's a good, it's a good basketball place and you get to learn some really good basketball. And uh, what, where did the keyboard come in? Is, did you learn that at Game Over or did you learn that on the side? Did they encourage you? Well, I learned it on the side. I heard you're really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, hold that thought because I want you to play. But first, I, can I meet your friends, Hampton and Jada? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi, how are you? I'm good. So tell us a little bit about Game Over. Um, Game Over, it's a program for basketball players for all boys and girls. And it's an inspiration for people to start playing. And I started playing because my inspiration is to play basketball when I grow up. And yeah. I see you got a big uh, award there. Is that something you won or you're no, borrowing it? I'm borrowing it. Okay, that's cool. That's going to be yours soon. Tell us a little bit about you. Why do you like Game Over? It helps me in improving my basketball and coding and everything. Right, so you're not just learning basketball. They help you with your homework afterwards too? Uh, a little sometimes. bit? A little bit? You have homework problems at all or no? You're smarty pants. Nope. No. <laughs> All right, listen, it's so good to hear you guys. But I, I, do you mind if I listen to Mason play? Because Absolutely. how long have you been playing? You're seven years old. Two years. Two years. Wow, that's okay. Uh, what are you going to play for us today, Mason? Arabesque and quadrille. Okay, go for it. Wow! Check him out! You know, what's important is that we praise our kids for other things. Like, I could bring 
the kid that scored the most points or got the most rebounds or whatever, but to also praise them for things outside of sports and, and for the educational things, these are the things that are going to help build a community and help really take the next generation to the next level. Eric, how can people find your organization? Two ways. You can go uh, to GameOverNYC.com, and there's the Hicks Family Foundation and also the Game Over LLC, and then official Game Over NYC on Instagram. All right. So nice to meet you, Eric. Thank you so Mason, much for having us. Mason, Hampton, Jada. Jada. Thank you so much. All right. Oh. Oh, wait, this is for me? This is for you. Oh, thank you. Right next to those Emmys. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. It means a lot. Appreciate it. When we, when we come back, U.S. Open Fan Week is underway. Tina Savasio has details. What's going on, Tina? Just stay right there. I'm just going to quick connect.